So that's a good question. Like, how do you keep your how personal do you, stress down? Yeah. You know, if you go through two open heart surgeries, yeah, and you come out of that and you're mm -hmm. still breathing, feeling oh. that you feel, to just be alive, in the morning, I used to not be like that. I used to wake up and be angry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was an angry, angry kid, because I had a lot of issues with my yeah. father. My mm -hmm. father and my mother just seeing all that anger and no yep. love in the, in the household. So I, what I did shut you off. do to well, get over it? When I was about to kill myself at mm -hmm. 10 years old, I mean, mm -hmm. that's like young, right? So young. Razors to the wrists at my at dad's bathroom, I remember it. I had mm -hmm. like a, it was like a, a miracle. Uh, mm -hmm. Divine intervention said in yeah. Greek, ohi, which means no. Mm -hmm. And then the razors dropped, and I was just like, Whoa. Whoa! And immediately I knew it wasn't me, but the yeah. environment that was really, really exactly. sick. So what, what do I do to keep my stress down? I think I've been through so much stress that I kind of got the antidote. Gratitude. Yeah, gratitude. Gratitude is the antidote. I agree. And remember, right. focus is the most important thing. I tell all my patients when they come in and they're trying to transform their body, what are we focusing on? A better version of you. Yes. On a constant daily basis. Yeah. What And then we align the chakras, we align the system every single time to wipe out what negativity they came in and walked in with. When they leave, they're so powerfully strong. It's, it's pretty insane. Just being at that place where, did you see the light? Did you see anything coming towards you? Well, the first time that I went into surgery yeah. was down that, that corridor to the to the uh, surgery. And and I was I was really, really scared at that moment. I was mm. never scared before that. Mm. I remember my dad always put put the Spartan shield mm -hmm. up, son, you know. And I was just like, yeah, but I had, I had put so much in deep down that it all exploded at that time. And I said, I may not come back. Mm. And if I'm not coming back, what did I leave behind? What is it I, I've done for this world? Mm. Nothing. I was angry. I was egotistical. I was, you know, I was. I did the modeling and acting thing. I got into that whole entertainment thing, and it was empty for me. It was very empty. Mm. So it really challenged me to to really think about my life. And I said, and I had prayed it. I wrote about it in the book. I prayed at that moment. I was like, if you want me to come back, because I I didn't. I was. I also an atheist. Mm -hmm. I had become an atheist. Wow. Because I was so angry at so God. Angry. Yeah. Yeah. So I was just like, if I come back, and, I, and if you're listening, and this is all real, I want you to give anyone who comes to me the grace of your power, mm. and let me be a vessel for Catches. that. Mm. And That's beautiful. and he's kept he she it has kept the word, mm. and now I have to try to keep up my my yes. part of the bargain because I am held literally held together with with pieces of of technology to wow. be alive right now. Every 10 mm. years I have to go in and get a new valve because it runs out. Wow. Yeah, so it's so every day is an amazing journey. I was like, wow, I get to get up and create. Mm. 